Hi friends, it's Miss Evelyn here. Um, so most of my preschool friends know that each week we learn a different letter and the sounds of the letters that each letter makes. So this week it is the letter A. And yesterday during our video uh, meeting, a lot of friends gave me words that start with the letter A. I'm gonna show you right now. A lot right here. And so I thought it would be a great idea to draw a picture that has, you know, that starts with the letter A. So I thought it would be a fun idea to do an uh, apple tree. Ah, ah, apple tree. So here we go. Okay, here we go. So I don't have that many colors. I have a red, I have black, I have orange, and I have green. And for an apple tree, you mostly just need like a green or red, and I'll probably use some of these colors as well. Um, here we go. All right. So first, I'm going to start with kind of like a, a cloud looking thing for the tree part of the apple tree, which will look like this. I'm going to make mine kind of big. There we go. And then uh, I love red apples. So I'm going to do um, red for the apples. And apples usually, if you're drawing them, they look like circles. So I'm going to do some just circles here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <laughs> here, maybe do that too to look like the stem of the apple. Okay. And then you need the trunk. The trunk is the bottom part of the tree where the wood is. I think I'll just use black to kind of look like uh, brown. There we go. And then a little hole where like squirrels or like birds or something like that can go in there too. Okay. All right. And that's usually my, that's my apple tree. A, here I'm gonna use a different marker. A, four, apple tree, see, A, A, A for apple tree. <coughs> All right, now that I am done drawing my apple tree, I would love for my friends to also uh, draw pictures that start with the letter A and I would love to see them. I love when my friends draw pictures for me and for the classroom and all that good stuff. Okay, see? All right, now we're done with that. I have a book I'm gonna show you right now that I would love to read to you guys. It's called The Very Hungry Caterpillar. There we go. I'm gonna do it this way so I can see. Do, 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 do. This crazy book. <laughs> see? In the light of the moon, a little egg laid on a leaf. One Sunday morning, the warm sun came up. Pop! Out of the egg came a tiny and very hungry caterpillar. Right there. He started to look for some food. On Monday, he ate through one apple. Hey, like my apple tree. But he was still hungry. On Tuesday, he ate through two pears. One, two. But he was still hungry. On Wednesday, he ate through three plums. One, two, three. But he was still hungry. 
On Thursday, he ate through four strawberries. One, two, three, four. But he was still hungry. On Friday, he ate through five oranges. But he was still hungry. See, one, two, three, four, five. On Saturday, he ate through one piece of chocolate cake, one ice cream cone, one pickle, one slice of Swiss cheese, one slice of salami, one lollipop, one piece of cherry pie, one sausage, one cupcake, and one slice of watermelon. That night, he had a stomach ache. Oh, look at them. Look at him. I would have a stomach ache too if I ate all that junk. The next day was Sunday again. The caterpillar ate through one nice green leaf. And after that, he felt much better. Now he wasn't hungry anymore. And he wasn't a little caterpillar anymore. He was a big fat caterpillar. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon, pushed his way out, and I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, <laughs> my page was ripped. <laughs> he was a beautiful butterfly. Oh no. Oh, silly, silly me. I did not realize that page was missing. But we know that the after, after uh, a caterpillar, a built, he builds a cocoon around himself. And then when he pushes his way out of the cocoon, a beautiful butterfly comes out. Um, so sorry about that, but I still enjoyed reading that story to you guys. <laughs> I'm a little embarrassed. But um, yeah, so I hope everybody has a wonderful day. I hope everyone is staying inside, staying healthy, drinking lots of water, eating nice food, fruits and vegetables. And I miss you guys so much. I miss going to school and seeing all my friends, but I hope everybody is doing well. So all right, bye guys, bye.